Today at Willwood Disc Brakes, we're going to show you how easy it can be to upgrade your Camaro brakes to our SX6R front big brake kit. Before we begin, it's very important to read through our datasheet instructions designed for your application to verify brake lines, wheel clearance, and look for any variations that may have taken place before or after the vehicle left the factory. With the car properly secured and the front wheels removed, we suggest taking some photos of the current setup for reference if needed. Here's the 2014 Camaro we are going to do this install on. When ready to begin, disassemble the original equipment front brakes. Start by removing the bolt attaching the brake line bracket to the suspension. Save the bolt as it will be reused in the installation. Next, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Slide the caliper off the rotor and hang the caliper out of the work area without putting pressure on the brake line. You will need to remove the rotor locator screw before you can remove the rotor. Slide the rotor off the hub. Remove the three dust shield retaining bolts and remove the dust shield. Using a wire brush, remove any nicks or burrs on the axle hub and upright that may interfere with the installation of new brake components. This car is super clean, but with some cars, now would be the right time to degrease the mounting area of the spindle. Orient the bracket as shown and install using the supplied bolts and washers. Initially place one shim on each bolt between the bracket and the upright. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts. Slide the hat rotor assembly onto the hub. Install the hat locator screw to keep the hat and rotor assembly in place while continuing the installation. Initially place two shims on each stud between the caliper and the bracket. Mount the caliper onto the bracket using lock nuts and washers. Temporarily tighten the lock nuts. View the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered on the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the upright. Remove the caliper and rotor to access the caliper bracket mounting bolts. Once the caliper alignment is correct, remove the bracket mounting bolts one at a time, apply red Loctite 271 to the threads, and torque to instruction specifications. Before inserting the brake pads into the caliper, you must first remove the pad retaining pins. Remove the two pad retaining pins from the caliper by pushing out the pins from the tapered end using a blunt instrument. Insert the brake pads into the caliper from the bottom. With the friction material facing the rotor, secure the brake pads in place with the pad retaining pins. Reinstall the rotor with the alignment screw. Reinstall the caliper onto the caliper mounting bracket and temporarily tighten with the lock nuts. Check that the top of the brake pad is flush with the outside diameter of the rotor. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the caliper and the bracket. After the caliper pad height is set, torque the caliper lock nuts to instruction specifications. Next, using PTFE tape, install the 90 degree fitting into the caliper. Slide the provided grommet over the new flex line. Screw the flex line into the 90 degree fitting on the caliper and tighten. Carefully route the hoses to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake, or wheel components. Route the new hose in the same location as the OE hose and secure the strut mount using supplied flat bracket and grommet with the OE bolt. Remove the factory brake hose from the hard line. Once disconnected, you can now remove the factory caliper and brake hose. Remove the bolt retaining the OEM bracket. The OEM brake line bracket must be modified to remove the flat, making the hole round to accommodate the new bulkhead fitting. Reinstall the OEM bracket. Connect the bulkhead fitting to the flex line. Slide the bulkhead fitting through the bracket and attach it to the factory hard line. Use the provided retaining clip to keep the bulkhead fitting in place. Double check all your work for safety reasons, and when ready, perform a full system fill and bleed with new Willwood brake fluid best suited for your application. Be sure to check again for sufficient wheel clearance and follow the directions for proper bedding of pads and pedal feel. Contact a professional if you encounter any difficulties or have any doubts or any questions.